Alice had not gone much further before she came in sight of a house. There was a table set out under a tree in front of the house, and the March Hare and the Hatter were having tea at it. A Dormouse was sitting between them fast asleep, and the other two were using it as a cushion, resting their elbows on it and talking over its head. Oh my! No room! No room! There's plenty of room. Uh, have some wine! I don't see any wine. There isn't any! Then it wasn't very civil of you to offer it. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited. I didn't know this was your table. Your hair wants cutting. You should learn not to make personal remarks. It's very rude. Why is the raven like a writing desk? Hmm. I believe I can guess that. Uh, do you mean that you think you can find out the answer to it? Exactly so. Then you should say what you mean. I do. At least, at least I mean what I say that is the same thing, you know. Not the same thing a bit! <laughs> Why, you might as well say I see what I eat is the same as I eat what I see! You might just as well say that I like what I get is the same as I get what I like! You might just as well say I breathe when I sleep is the same as I sleep when I breathe! <laughs> It is the same thing with you! <laughs> Have you guessed the answer to the riddle yet? No. I give up. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea! No, I! You should do something better with the time than asking riddles with no answers. But suppose we change the subject. I'm getting tired of this. I vote the young lady tells us a story. I'm afraid I don't know any. Then the Dormouse Shell! Wake, Wake up, Dormouse! I wasn't asleep. I heard every word you fellows were saying. Well, tell us a story? Yes, please do. Then be quick about it or you'll be asleep before it's done. I call this poem Brother and Sister. <laughs> sister, sister, go to bed. Go and rest your weary head.